Welcome to NXT Season 1, Episode 34. We are now on the go home show before NXT our, uh, NXT TakeOver Redemption. Let's get straight into it. Here we go. All right, a couple pre-show matches. And about that, I saw it in reaction. Asuka and Carmella defeated Evie and Portia Perez. This is just three pre-show matches I'm going to start utilizing per event. You guys, I'm just going to blow right through these. These are just to get uh, some momentum going. And this doesn't really have any effect on what I'm doing. So, All right, we have Sin Cara defeating Ty Dillinger. And we have Jordan and Gable defeating the VOD villains and the mechanics. All right, let's get straight into the show. Start with the... First match. And about that, it's all in reaction, but not much with heat. Bailey and Candice LeRae defeated Dana Brooke and Emma in seven and a half minutes when Bailey defeated Dana Brooke with a rose plant. So basically, we have um, we have Bailey on a winning streak heading into NXT Takeover Redemption to take on Gail Kim for the title. Having just picked up the victory, Bailey and Candice LeRae hug in the ring. So again, just highlighting the fact that Bailey is going to be taking on Gail Kim. Next, the camera finds Bo Dallas like standing in the back. In a few days today, oh, you and I will be facing off going one-on-one, -on -one, if you will. It's not for the briefcase, of course. No, you've had your chance, but it's for the sense of pride. It's for a sense of redemption. For you, I guess. For me, it's just an everyday run-of-the-mill, nothing special about it match. Bo smiles. Hideo, I can't wait... I can't wait to face you at NXT TakeOver Redemption. I can't wait to halt you in your impressive little tracks. Because you see, Hideo, Bo points to the case now. This Bo sure I'm the next NXT champion. And like the man who leads the Empire m might say, you can Bo leave that. Alright, next the scene opens up with William Regal sitting down with Apollo Gurus and Samoa Joe in the back. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Crew and Joe's Nods. Now, you developed a pretty strong friendship the last few weeks, and it's wonderful. Your competitive spirit should really be committed, and as such, you're going to be going one-on-one, face-to-face, -on -one, -face at NXT TakeOver Redemption this Sunday. The fans cheer, the two sides of one another up. Heck, sounds great, Joe. Joe, agreed. Let the best man win. The fans cheer as the eighth and final match is set for the pay-per-view of Apollo Crews versus Samoa Joe. As you guys saw on all my shows, I was just building towards this match. Um, neither one of them had big plans for this block of shows and heading into TakeOver, so... Getting them all, um, you know, should have a really good match in ring. And about that, I saw in ring, you guys can average cheap. Bo Dallas defeated Mojo Rally in six minutes with the Bo Dog. All right. After the match, Bo's on the microphone again. You see, Hideo, he says, continuing his patronizing tone. It, if you work hard and really believe in yourself, even you can win a victory, the fans boo Bo. But this is not Sunday. Because believe it or not, Mr. Money in the Bank is leaving TakeOver Dimension with a victory! Bo puts his hands up and taunts the crowd as the scene fades. So Bo again laying in Hideo Itami. We now have Kevin Nash backstage, member of the clique. It's Kevin Nash. This is going to be short and sweet, Mr. Crow. What I'm going to do after we did my best friend Pocket NXT TakeOver Redemption is nothing short of leaving you with an inch of your professional wrestling career. The fans here. You've never got into the ring with a man like Big Sixty, a seven-footer, a man whose athleticism is only surpassed by his good looks. The fans cheer at his playful and joking nature. At the end of the day, Crow, that's what you'll be eating. And your precious revolution begins to crumble with me a Sunday at NXT TakeOver Redemption and is officially done after Pac wins the title in the main event. Nash puts up the Wolfpack slash Click gesture as the scene fades. So this was just Nash getting in his one little promo because it's matches made late. All right, now the camera shows William Regal in the back, and he zooms on a piece of paper he's holding that reads, Start date NXT TakeOver Redemption. He flipped the contract before letting us see the name. So, is someone going to be there? Is he signing someone? I don't know. Who knows? Now, in an extremely poor match, Tyler Freeze defeated Tommaso Ciampa with a spinning wheel kick. Pergano was good. Eva Marie was good. Um, I don't know why this was such an awful match. Both of them are pretty good wrestlers, but uh, not good. Anyways, Tyler Breeze gets a victory heading into his match with Sami Zayn in the number one contendership match. Alright, that's why. Alright, that's why. After having just won the match, he gets on the mic. Bo Dallas talking to Sami Zayn. Excuse me, Tyler talking to Zayn. You see, Sami, I'm not even out of breath. What happened tonight, just a small example of what's going to happen to you take over redemption. Eva Marie now with the microphone. Prince Pretty is going to win a takeover. He's going to become the NXT number one contender, and he's going to be the hottest thing in professional wrestling. Prepare to have your face mingled even more in that cage, says Breeze. The scenes with Breeze predicting he's going to be the number one contender after his victory over Sami Zayn at NXT Redemption. A video now plays hyping in Colin Cassidy versus Young Bucks at Redemption. Here comes a lot of videos, guys. A video plays hyping Bailey versus Gail Kim for the NXT Women's Championship at Redemption. A video now plays hyping Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre in a last man standing match at NXT TakeOver Redemption. 
A video plays hyping Sami Zayn versus Tyler Breeze in the number one contenders match for the NXT Championship inside of a cage at NXT Redemption. And of last, a video plays hyping Baron Corbin versus Sean X Pac Wattman versus James Storm in a triple threat with referee Jake Younger, of course, refereeing because he's a main event referee at NXT Takeover Redemption. For those of you who forgot, we also have the new Tommy versus Bo Dallas match, Paul Cruz versus Samoa Joe, and Solomon Crow against Kevin Nash at NXT TakeOver Redemption. Next, here we go. The man has some good action and average heat. Sparing Corbin and Sean X. Buck Waltman drew the revolution in which the match descended into chaos. Referee Jake Younger doesn't even have a chance to toss the match out as he just went into the deep end with both sets of wrestlers being off to the side. Triple H, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash now have came out along with William Regal. The fans are chanting NXT as mayhem is all over the place. The wrestlers have fought back to the ring now as the referee, road agents, and click plus Regal are now trying to break it apart, saving the main event for TakeOver Redemption. The fans are on the feed and cheering as James Storm goes for a huge kick on Waltman, but Waltman moves and Regal is laid out cold by NXT champion James Storm, seemingly on accident. Everyone in the arena goes quiet. The fans hold their breath, and as the commotion stops, James Storm looks around before dropping to the mat, scared, and leaving with, the, with Crow and referee Jake Younger. The trio walk up the ramp. Corbin, Waltman, Triple H, Hall... Nash and the referees are looking, trying to help Regal, who just laid out by the NXT champion on accident. That's right. Storm just laid out Commissioner Regal with a big kick on accident right before the pay-per-view. This is going to be very interesting. Crow and uh, Corbin were very underwhelming, which is unfortunate. All right, folks. As you saw last week, I hit my storylines. Now I'm down on my storylines. I can't get it straight. Whatever. Ugh. Either way, this was in Hawaii. We're going to be heading back to the Southeast for the pay-per-view. I'm very excited to present it to you. I think I got eight wonderful matches. Um, I can't wait to go. Let's see what happens.